concerned on all the deep routes out there and everything, especially with Xavier? Just what do you see, one, being a veteran, trying to help out Xavier, and two, just how impressed you are to see him out there right now? Today? Say it one more time, I'm sorry. No, with Xavier, where, you know, a couple deep routes, you know, just as a veteran, how you try to help him along, just get him acquainted to everything, and just how impressed you are with his first day? Oh, yeah, he did good, man. Um, I think he uh, he's coming along well. He's done the playbook well. Uh, like, he had a deep ball today. I think he had a couple, like you said. So, I think he adjusting well. I mean, he come with that speed, man. So, I'm pretty sure we're going to have him on a, on a lot of things going deep. And um, so, I think now just get the chemistry with him and Pat going. And hopefully, we can translate it on, on to the season. So, I think he's doing good. Um, he's still working to get better. So, uh, I'm glad to see him out here doing his thing. Nicole, can you describe your process that ultimately led you back to coming to the Chiefs again? Uh, for the offseason? Uh, we had a few few options, man, um, but I guess this one made more sense. Just more comfortable. I've been here my whole career. Um, just wanted to um, make sure everything made sense to me on my end. So it, it made sense. I, I know the system. I know the coaches. Uh, very, very familiar with the, uh, with the scheme, everything going on. I think, you know, Coach Reed has a good way of, you know, putting me on the field and using me in certain, you know, situations. So I'm, I'm excited for it. Just want to come out here, get better, and um, establish that role. Was this all season different for you after catching the game-winning pass in the Super Bowl and getting to do some other stuff? How was this all season different than the past all seasons? Um, it was pretty fun, I, I believe. I think um, just you no know, capitalize on certain you know opportunities after after the Super Bowl. Um, but you know that's that's kind of like one of those things you enjoy. And after that, you gotta get back to business, get back to working out, uh, get stronger, faster, and so you can get ready for you know this camp like this. And you know? but all season was fun. Had my daughter, you know, so I was very you know around the family a lot this off season and just trying to figure out the next step. But um, it was it was cool. Glad you know that the Super Bowl happened. But now you know that's in the past now. So you gotta just you know move forward and and go from there. What about the movie that you that you're doing? How did that come about? The role in the movie. Uh, well, they just hit me up and asked me if I want to be in it, I guess. I ain't, I had no idea about it, um, but, you know, I think it's a good opportunity because my, I always wanted to act, though, you know what I'm saying? So that's like, that's like one of my, like, I guess one of my goals to be in a movie. So, um, I guess that, I guess I can complete that, I guess, uh, check that list. But uh, ultimately, I want to actually be in a bigger movie, a bigger role type thing. Um, so I've been working on that for the last couple of years, trying to get around the right people, the right rooms. So um, it, it, it definitely was a, a good opportunity, a good starting point. Well, you had, uh, you, well, when you first got here, obviously there were the expectations in case something would happen with Tyree. From from year one to now, with with the little short stand in New York, how do you feel like you become a better player? Um, I think just just experience. Um, I guess just being here most of the time. You know what I mean? And learning, you know, the, the system, learning how to win, learning how to become a better leader, learning how to take care of your body, learning how to uh, actually practice, learn the game, the game slowing down. So I think all that comes with experience and the years you have, you know, in the league. So now it's just more about just finding ways to become better, the little things, the little fundamental things, and, and um, trying to get better each and every day. So that way you can have that longer career that you want, like everybody wants. So um, I think the experience just is, and the knowledge that's come with it is, um, is what I've been learning the most and learning from guys like Trav Steele and, um, and, and, the, and the older guys that have been here. So I'm um, just trying to take that out into account and just become better each and every day. Well, you with the training camp with the Jets last season. You had Austin Middles there. You had a prediction that Austin Middles had. Um, just the, now that you have the experience of the training camp there and you know, being back here, can you kind of compare the two differences and just like this type of training camp compared to all the attention that had hard times last season? Oh uh, yeah, Hard Knocks was fun, man. I think you know there's a lot of cameras. Um, I think they had a very, you know, um, slim down version of Hard Knocks. It wasn't like the original Hard Knocks where you see everything. Um, but it was pretty cool to have everything around like that. And um, the training camp was cool. Um, but I was, you know, like here, it's one of the hardest training camp in the league. So it's kind of hard to compare here. Um, here we, we run a lot, we do a lot. It's, it's hard. You in dorm rooms, you're, you know what I'm saying. So it's just a, it's a different environment, a different feel. You know, everybody have their own knack. Every team have their own knack of how they want to do certain things, and and they take a different approach to training camp. But here, you know, y'all been here for you know however long, as long as I've been here. So you see how hard we work and, and how everything goes. So, um, but like like I say, it, it was cool. Not bad. Hard knocks was fun actually. I kind of like enjoyed it. So it was cool. McCullough, you spent a uh, little time in Kansas City in your offseason. I know you worked out with Luther. What was one of those things you said, that, hey, I wanted to get better at so I can come to camp and get better for uh, Just probably like, man, my, my balance, stability, my core work. Um, I wanted to get get better at the, at the little things, you know, just you know, balance, whether to get my core stronger. You know, I, I got everything else, man. The speed, you know, 
the agility, everything like that. I think it's just the stuff that we don't work on, you know, the, the, like the single leg stuff, getting your knees stronger, ankles stronger, um, just stuff like that. And I think um, Luther did a great job of helping me do that. Um, shout out to Luther. If y'all watching this, if y'all want to go train, go to Luther Glover workout. That's your shout out, Luther. So, um, but yeah, I think it was great, man. I had a, had a great time here. I was here mostly the whole off-season training, so it, it, it was pretty dope. Um, you talk about your daughter, just uh, I know she's, she's super young, but just how much have you seen her change you just in the short time, and how much is she going to influence your career moving forward? Yeah, man, uh, I think it's kind of like the same effect like my son had. I, mean, I had my son, you know, ride to the Super Bowl, um, not last year, but the previous year. And um, I think when you have kids like that and just have my daughter, it, it gives you motivation, give you fuel to try to set them up long term and, and you know, do the right things necessary to them and, and be a, a – you know, I know they're young, but they be a great role model, and hopefully when they grow up, they see things about, about me. When they grow up, they can read it. It's all good, positive things. So now you, you got somebody that you got responsibility for and somebody that you got care for for a long time. So I think it just make you more of a man, make you grow up a little bit more faster. And um, so um, I think just having those kids just make you overall like a better man. So. You guys add Hollywood Brown, you bring this first round draft pick in, they got you back, a lot of fast guys. Can you talk about that receiving room and how talented and explosive you guys might be? Oh yeah, we a lot, lot of speed, man. I think they've got a good group of guys, like you said. Hollywood's uh, X came. Uh, I think they, they they bring another dynamic to the offense. And then obviously you got Rasheed, man. That's a like a bulldog, like a horse that can do all the dirty work, get it underneath routes. A uh, lot of rack yards with with him. Um, then you know I, I come in, do the rolls, the little gadget stuff here and there, and you know explosiveness too. So I think we got a, a great nick of guys. Jay Watt is still here. Scott Moore, route runner. So I think everybody is collective together. We all feed off each other. We got a great room. Um, everybody know what's going on. They know their role. I think now training camp going to really establish everybody's roles. I think once we get that, we all can, you know, thrive in, in, in each other's roles, you know, so. Last one on the right. So, obviously, as you just mentioned, a lot of talent with these younger guys. What's your message to them to get them adapted uh, to this new scheme and just being a part of Chiefs? Um, I think it's easy. I think Coach Reed established that foundation day one. Uh, I think he established that, 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 that standard. And what we about here. So I think when when, it, when you hear anywhere, it's, it's it's full of um of a standard of winning. You know what I mean. So I think once you walk in that building, when you step on the field, you can feel the like we win here type thing. So I think it's not it's not going to take too long for them to, to realize like of what we do here, the culture that we have here, and the standard that we have for for each other. So um, I, I can't wait to see see how they be when we get like later on training camp when we actually get into the, the meat of things. So it's, go, it's gonna be fun. So um, I think that standard and that coach is so established within the coaching staff and through the players that's been here that it trickled down to everybody else that trying to learn exactly what we what we're about here. So it's gonna, it's gonna be fun.